Hey, this is Jeff with the Eternity Shore, and today we're going to start the process for how all of this will make my Garmin 741XS work so I can put it in here. All right, I'll give an update on trying to hook up my my radar and my GPS. Uh, it's time to call a pro because I'm in way over my head. I took the dome down to see what they had already hooked up. If I hook these up, um, they're gonna drop down through this the stem here, and they're gonna go in here. And those two wires are going to have to be thread through all the way. I believe it's here. And then over to there. And it's really, it's really tight in there. And I can't even find, cannot find those wires in here. The ones that were from the previous radar anyway. So, you know, here's the other thing. These are, these are grouped like... Uh, and I'd have to take off this twist tie. I don't know how far back they're grouped. So I'm definitely in it over my head. This is for the old radar. This is for the old radar. That won't work for us. And uh, so is this. So I don't need these. So this one right here, I can't even find this. I don't know. I don't know who this goes to. I don't really know how all that works together. So for me, I have plenty of other things I can do on the boat. And I know this will probably be expensive for someone else to do. But I'm in overhead my head. And I think I have to admit that. You know, when you can't do something, I don't want to screw everything else up. No. So I have a, a bilge pump today that I bought for the shower sump pump. That bilge wasn't working. It was working intermittently. So I'm going to switch over and, and uh, try to do that today. Since I needed to get up to the Gar Gar Garmin radar dome to determine whether or not I actually do this project, which I'm not doing, I had to take down this uh, back canvas, which I've not done before and I've not cleaned it before or waterproofed it. You see in a previous video, I cleaned and waterproofed uh, the rest of it. So I put it over there and I'm going to clean it right now, boat soap, and I'll flip it over and waterproof it and hang it up to dry. Okay, I've washed it, rinsed it, uh, and laid it out for it to dry. So uh, after that dries, flip it both sides to dry with the sun. I'm going to go ahead and spray this with 303 Fabric Guard, like I did the rest of the uh, canvas, which of course you can see in that other video if you haven't yet already. Okay, so while I wait for that canvas to dry, we've had a problem with the pump that pumps out both the the gray water from the uh, head that comes in as well as the condens oops, right here as well as the condensation from the air conditioner so I got another one all right I've now turned off the power to the pump so just to double check uh, this is not going to go on um, and now I'm going to disconnect these um, and then reconnect, try to remember what's what. So this is look like they bundled this. I'm looking at this and that is not, that is not a wet connection. Let me cut this off. All right, so there's a black wire, which is the ground. There is this brown wire and then the brown and white one I think was something called like you so let's take these out uh, let's see how this is done here uh, all right so 
I mean, these are not protected. These wires are not protected and it was in a wet area. These should be protected. They should not be in this situation. I mean, I'm not your master, uh, you know, technician or anything, but this is not correct. connections right here uh, I'm gonna use two connections so that um, if I have a problem again with this I can just pop this off um, if I have to do another bilge pump for whatever reason so this is the ground right here try to turn this on now and see if this new pump works. I'm clipping on the shower sub pump. All right, so now this is on. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off and we'll heat shrink wrap these puppies. So a little update on my progress today. Uh, maybe I gave up on trying to wire the, the radar myself, but because I had taken off the, the canvas in the back, I went ahead and I washed it and put 303 guard on it to waterproof that back because it had been leaking a little bit from back there. So that's satisfying. Um, the other thing that I'm doing right now uh, is on the top of the, the dome, I'm sorry, not the dome, but on the top of the arch uh, is also all white and um, oxidated. So I can't really right now get a sander up there or do anything like that. So I washed it really well. And right now I'm gonna use compound, but I gotta use it by hand because I can't get up there and that way I'm not creating a mess anyway. So I'm gonna do compound up there by hand all the way on the top. And then I'll put a coat of finishing wax on it just to try to hold that at bay because um, what's happening is that all it's windy here but all that white stuff comes down off the tower and then it eventually finds its way here uh, in the hole so you can see here all the oxygenation here so that, that's kind of what that's what the oxygenation looks like on the side of this boat so this is the compound I'm using, the 3M Marine Rubbing Compound. So I'll use that at the top. So when I'm done with the 3M, I will use this uh, Meguiar's Cleaner Wax, kind of one step. And uh, yeah, got my towels all down there. Let me give it a shot.
only going to do this the top portion because my arms are getting really tired. I got neck and arm problems, as you probably know. And I'll pay the price tomorrow for this. So I'm just going to do the top. I can do the sides uh, some other time. It doesn't require me to take off this back canvas piece. So I'm just going to finish uh, the other side. Time to put the canvas back up. All right, we'll try that. I don't want to screw this up like I did last time. been a super productive day so let's look at this now you didn't think I was gonna let you go without seeing how much cleaner that is Isn't that beautiful that's beautiful you can see now it's cleaner than this which I cleaned before so it's a war right uh, but anyway it's been waterproof that's the big thing is the other side's been waterproof now I didn't do any of the panels today um, because I can do this some other time, I take those off, but it's, I had a lot of stuff I was trying to do, so just doing those, um, just doing the, the one back section of the canvas was very, very productive. All right, uh, gonna wrap up some other things and I'll put a bow on this uh, video here in just a second. Well, I wanna put a, a bow on this very, very productive day. I am exhausted, I'm sweaty, uh, and I came down here in the cabin, I, I've had the air conditioning on because it's really, really hot today. And if you've stayed this long, let me just say that I'm trying to be very honest about all the difficulties and the joys and the pains of uh, bone ownership. As you know, if you've been watching my channel for long, we stepped up for a 19 foot boat. So this is our first experience with such a large express cruiser and all the different uh, things that are going on. And even me, I'm, I'm very secure in who I am. Uh, I did such a stupid thing. So <clears throat> I'm not going to tell you now, I'm going to wait for the next video. You'll have to, it's kind of the cliffhanger. So stay tuned for the next video, come out in five, six, seven days, I don't know, where I'll explain the stupid thing that I did that uh, has been really costly for us just in terms of pain in the neck and, you know, with, with everyone so busy during the boating season, trying to get someone to actually fix what I screwed up <clears throat> has been a bear. As always, if you have any comments about what I did today, uh, I'd love to hear them. If you have a video that you'd like me to do or you'd like me to talk about, um, go ahead and let me know in the comments and we'll see if we can take care of that. All right, well, I'm gonna have some dinner, grab something from the fridge, clean up some uh, things here, and then head home. It's been a long, long day. And uh, hope your day has been great. See you on the next one. Ciao.